Welcome to a story that ventures beyond the ropes of the ring, into the murky depths of controversy and courage. Today, we're delving into a narrative where the fight isn't just physical, it's about exposing truths hidden in the shadows. Join us as we unravel Ryan Garcia's bold exposition of the Diddy situation. In a stunning revelation, Ryan Garcia steps into a different kind of spotlight, turning his focus from the boxing ring to the dark corners of the entertainment industry. Garcia openly criticizes music mogul Diddy and calls out his fellow fighter, Devin Haney, for their connections with Diddy. But Garcia's allegations go deeper, suggesting these relationships are mere distractions from sinister realities, including sex trafficking. Amid the whirlwind of accusations, Literally trying to make me out like I was a crazy maniac. Right. It just goes to proof, you know? There is no maniacs. We all just know the truth. And we yeah. look like maniacs, but we're not. We're, we're definitely not. We're just people that um, are constantly trying to search for, you know, what's underneath the scene. And don't let it be a distraction because you know what they're doing. They're hiding the evidence. There's more shit. You know, they raided so they could hide. They didn't raid to get Diddy. What, what's Diddy compared to... The ones that are really controlling it. How about Jay Z? How about Jay Z? Oh, that's coming. Oh yeah. Don't worry, it's coming little by little. Everything's gonna be out. I told you, bro. Twenty twenty four is the year of truth. It's gonna be biblical, brother. Biblical. And we and I'm here for it. I love it. We're I love watching. To be alive. We're very I love lucky watching to be alive. this. I love watching it all come down. Hey Ryan, you think this is Diddy's debt to the to the elites? This is kind of like a debt that he's paying back, right? It's a, like kind of like a psyop, if you will. I think everything's what? catching up to everybody. That's what I think. Oof. I think all the dirt is now um, being processed, and people are now, you know, able to see, you know, the things that people have been screaming about for years. I'm not the first one to say this. I'm not. I'm not the type of person to say, "Oh, I'm the visionary. I have all the answers." No, I'm not claiming that. So everybody that's trying to like spin that narrative too can fuck off. I, I'm not claiming like I knew before everybody else. I'm just saying what I've seen. Are you famous? No, you're not. So if I'm famous in a position where I was able to see shit, <clears throat> I'm going to fucking talk. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not fucking, I'm not a weirdo. Like you guys are weird as fuck to say that, like trying to make it seem like I, I think I, I'm the shit, bro. I don't think I'm anything. I'm just telling the truth. Thing is, Ryan, you're in a position where you can tell the truth, right? For all the reasons that you just explained, you are rich, you are famous, you have seen some shit that us we would probably never see, right? So right. the fact that you're in this position and you're allowed, you're in a you're in a very rare position where you can share this truth with us all, right? And yep. other people are very cowardly and probably would never do that, right? Because it may ruin their brand or their image, right? And they all don't want to do is that. Any brand that doesn't work want to work with me for the things I'm speaking. You're part of the problem. You're a devil worshiping brand. And we all know that. <laughs> like, thank you for making it very clear to me that you would stop sponsoring me because I'm talking about child sex trafficking and how it should stop. <laughs> please, please. I don't want to be I don't want to be near you anyways. <laughs> like you're not anything, bro. You know, bro, everybody was literally telling me constantly, dude, you're fucking up your brand. You're doing this. You're doing that. I said, I'm fucking up my brand for sticking up for children. So let me ask you that question one more time. I'm fucking up my brand because I'm speaking up for children. Okay, I got you. Okay, so I know I'm not crazy <laughs> because that you will never convince me I'm doing something wrong. You can't pay me. You, you can't pay me enough. Here, here's the wild thing, Ryan, right? After all this with Diddy, Diddy will release some music, right? And people will still listen to his shit. But you, you come up here and you start talking about things you've seen other people do. And people are stabbing you in the back. They're talking shit. They're saying you're psycho, this, that, and a third. It's no coincidence that this co comes out, what, three weeks after you kind of like shed light to it all? It's That's no God. coincidence. That's God. God had my back from the beginning. God always was going to answer my enemies while everybody was beating me down and, and, and they were out there trying to call off the fight and doing everything in their power to stop it. And when I provided a clean test, a clean drug test every time they can't do, they can't find nothing. Cause I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Like you just can't, I can't lose, bro. I always provide truth. Oh, you think I'm on drugs? Fine. Drug test me. Oh, it's random. Oh, that's okay. 
hey, how you guys doing? Stopping me at six in the morning, five in the morning, and fucking just disturbing my sleep. So they disturb my sleep, trying to catch me slipping, and nothing ever works. Why? Because I don't do drugs. <laughs> that part. Ryan, let me say something, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. We all have God in us. If we choose to side with God and expose the truth, that's on us. We're being judged, and you're being judged, and you're getting a A plus. You understand? The people Thank that you. don't expose it are getting a D, <laughs> and they're going to go to hell. They're getting the F. They're fi they failed. <laughs> it's I been mean, a while. Uh, I haven't been in school in a while. <laughs> it's, it's all good. You know, D's still passing. We, I mean, we don't give them a pass. You know, you see little kids getting hurt, and you don't, you don't stand up for that. Um, to me, you know, call me a snitch all you want. Oh, you're a snitch. What? I'm a snitch. How the fuck does that make sense? <laughs> I'm, dude, these are babies, you weirdo. Not when it comes to children. A pack of gum, maybe you could snitch. Right. But children, right. no, you snitch. Yeah, oh, you're a snitch. You're you're just like six nine. What the fuck are you talking about, buddy? You you like, bro? Like, th this is the world we live in, though. It, it's like, even today, right? They said, "Hey, Ryan, um, I'm not gonna follow you no more." And then I started losing followers on Instagram, right? And I was like, "Why?" And this is a little off topic, right? Oh, oh, I I'll, I I'm obviously playing around on the internet saying, "Hey, um." I'm going to get somebody a BBL. You know, it was a joke, right? And they, oh, you're not a Christian. What? The? I'm not a Christian. Did I ever say I'm going to have sex with any of these women? No, I did not. And, and I, I said I'm celibate. So if that's, why, the, where am I? Like, this is the thing I'm talking, this is the, the people I'm dealing with. Right, they, they, Ryan. They take, it's crazy. Ryan, this is quite frankly, that was very charitable of you, right? I didn't look at it no different, right? If you right. want to spend your hard-earned money, right? And right. help somebody out with a BBL. Who gives a fuck, right? Anybody that Fact. uses this app and wants to comment and talk about it, they're in no position to judge you and say what's right or wrong. They are not. What, God. Wait, what, what? What? What if? What if, if? If me helping her body, like, say she's insecure, right? Or say she got a problem of losing weight or anything. What if? What I did help that woman become more mentally stable and mentally secure that she does end up finding a husband one day in her life. <laughs> and she actually does more better for herself and for the people around her and is a better woman from that. What if that happens? Because You're I know absolutely a lot of women, right, dude. Right. I, I know a lot of women that are insecure and they can't move the way they want to move because they feel they're not good enough. So if, if for a moment I took time and I just said, hey, I'm out here and I'm just I'm going to do it out of my heart. I don't need anything from you. You don't have to do. I don't need anything from you. I'm just going to do it out of my heart. Where's the problem in that? It really struck people's nerves. Like I literally, like it literally struck people's nerves. It See, those are the people. Those are the people that think they they have like this high moral. Bro, tenure, I lost right? thirty thousand followers. I lost thirty thousand followers within um, an hour for posting that. Can you believe that? That's all. That's Ryan. all it took. That's all it took for you to unfollow me. Was that? That's kind of crazy. Hey, I guarantee you, they're still following Diddy though. Oh, 100% they are. I can't see you. They're still following Diddy. Brian, you know what? You lose 30,000. Okay. If, if Philip went, uh, what, wait, why did everybody get mute? Well, no, I'm here. You can hear me. If Philip went mute. Philip, what were you saying? Philip's, Philip's got the Metro PCS. We're going to remove him and bring him <laughs> no. back. No, no, Instagram is, uh, I mean, this app is so shaky. Can you hear me? I can hear you, B. All right. So I just want to say, the other day, I came in, right? And I literally was just like, oh, yeah, my dad's a fan. You know, drop some knowledge. And um, you had said a prayer. Yes. My inbox, people are telling me to kill myself. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking crazy. I that prayed over your dad. Sir, I didn't even um, advertise anything about my life. Didn't say anything about what I do. Like insane but i just wanted to say like you know that's definitely crazy you have so much hate um we're only human at the end of the day you know I how much hate i receive this. every day b for doing this and can you guys share this live like bro we're literally dropping truth bombs and nobody's like trying to like support the cause like you guys just can't hop in here and just not support the cause bro like don't hop in here and like not try to do your part bro hit the share button it's, it takes five seconds 
literally hit the share button. We're speaking about real shit, and I ain't getting paid off the shit. <laughs> so just fucking support for one time. Like, yo, like, what is going on? We're speaking real shit, and y'all just go stand around. Oh, we just go hop in it. No, this needs to be a movement. The only way movement happens is if we all come together and we share it. You guys want to? You guys want to just like, like, be a part of it, not but not be a part of it. You understand what I'm saying? You guys want to watch, bro? I'm a doer. And anybody who's on this space, if you ain't hit that quote button or the, or that share button, then you're not really a part of the cause. You're Ryan, I'm gonna to bring up. I'm gonna bring up whoever quote tweets the uh, the space. Please, please. And, and this is some real stuff. Like, wait, can you get Philip back in here? I'm gonna pay Philip as a co-host just to do it. But um, this is my problem. It's like it, it, it's gonna stress me out because. These kids are hurting in silence. You understand what I'm saying? They don't have a voice. They don't have a voice. And actually says in the Bible that we must speak for the ones that do not have a voice. We must speak louder for the ones that who don't have a voice. These are little kids screaming for their lives. And you guys want me to chill. I'm not going to fucking chill. You chill. These kids are hurting every second. As we're on the space, a kid is being hurt. And we just walking around normal. It's regular to us, right? Shit's okay, right? You guys are good, right? You had your breakfast in the morning? Those kids don't get breakfast. They get they get drugged up. Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, real quick, um, what you're talking about is 100% real. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the ministry that I'm in, a Victory Outreach. Oh, yes. And so we've reached, we've reached people that were trafficked. And one of the things that a woman has shared was that <clears throat> if you ever go to the grocery stores or the, um, the supermarkets, Target, all that, and you ever experienced where little kids would come up and selling candy, well, the lady that I was speaking to, she was trafficked in that way. And so she called them out and said, where's your handler? And then the lady came up and then the lady would, would would avoid them from talking to the, the the lady anymore because she put them on blast. So long story short, they she ended up calling the cops and sure enough, they got exposed and that's what was taking place. So it, it's been right in front of our face time and time again. And so by you calling it out, of course, opposition is always gonna come. We know this. Um, I know you speak about the Bible and Jesus and everything. And, and so there's a scripture that says um, he holds success in store for the upright. So in the way that I like living, as long as I do what's right, I won't go wrong. And, and so in the same manner for you, I just want to encourage you, bro. As long as you do what's right, you can go wrong. Keep exposing, keep doing what you're doing and trust in the Lord because he got your back, bro. The blood of Jesus covers you, man. And, and for B, whoever's hating on you, just ignore it. Keep it pushing. Keep standing. Because at the end of the day, nobody's greater than God, bro. And uh, real facts, quick, facts. Thank also you. just wanted to say for sure. Also wanted to say, hey, uh, Ryan, I'm out here in the Ville. So, you know, we're representing you out here, man. So uh, keep doing it. As a matter of fact, quick note, you had came through to our uh, victory home to visit one time with your brother, Sean. So uh, it's cool to see you doing big things, man. Keep it up and uh, let's keep going going for jesus and, and, and i appreciate that brother and i also want to encourage everybody who has real stories of, of what's going on because we all know that there's actual real stories you know <laughs> that people have been through just like he said that was just one moment you know they 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 do this this is what they do and we need to expose it so it, i would encourage anybody who has real testimonies to come forward and speak the truth if you don't feel comfortable you don't have to you understand what I'm saying? But I think it's important for this moment. This moment's big right now. What happened to Diddy is a big moment. Think about it. Finally, finally, you guys get to see a glimpse of what's happening. That's a glimpse. You've seen it with Jeffrey. Now you see it with Diddy. So now you see, okay, so Jeffrey was elite and, and kind of like billionaire status. You're not, you, you don't really relate to him, right? But you relate to Diddy because Diddy is in the music industry, which you're very close to. So for the first time, you got to see how close it really is. And then if you really dig deeper, you say he's right next to you. Ooh, you didn't know those Amber Alerts? Those Amber Alerts is really telling you another kid got sex trafficked. 
that's really so then you finally realize it's right next to you and then you realize when you go to grocery stores and kids look scared and it look like like that kid don't belong belong to their mama because that kid don't belong to the mama that kid is literally begging for help i've seen it this shit this walking among us these devils are walking among us can i add something to this ryan please yes. this is a perfect time if you believe in God and you've seen things or you've done things to children or anybody that you haven't, repent, come yeah. forward. Now is the time, please. Yeah. Quite like, frankly, Ryan, I don't point. think there's enough. I don't think enough repenting. If you ever did something with a kid, I don't think any repenting would 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 help you. Um, the only wash thing away that's unforgivable sins. is the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But Jesus did say that if you make any of these kids stumble. That who believes in me, it's better that you tie a large weight around your neck and go to the bottom of the ocean. So there is a thin line there. You know, at the end of the day, don't blast me, the Holy Spirit. I'm not protecting these dudes. It, it, honestly, it's me. If it's me, I'm knocking all of them out. <laughs> one by one. <laughs> Slowly. You know, I, I keep them up and then I knock them out and then I let them get up and then I knock them out and then I do it honestly. To, and then I drug them up so they become numb and then I knock them out for fun. And you know what's crazy, Ryan? Like, that's what I would do. But I'm. But again, it's just what it is. That's what I would do for a kid that 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 is hurting little little kids at the ages of two. Personally, I would do that. You I know mean, what's crazy, uh, Ryan? Is, is that controversial? I mean, I mean, is that what, what is that? It's not. But here's the thing, P Diddy. Diddy has always left little breadcrumbs of being somebody who would be into that kind of shit, right? If you followed his career, right, and you followed a lot of the really suspect homophobic right. satanic ritualism that he's been kind of linked to throughout his career this was kind of something that was bound to come out right um he's just always been a weird weird rich dude right that's Relax, can, weird can, 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 can i say one thing real quick again again i'm encouraging everybody to share this space please I'm going to constantly do that maybe every 10 to 20 minutes. Um, this is going to go maybe a, uh, maybe an hour long. D depends on how I feel. But I think it's very important. I think this is one of my most important um, spaces since, since the Andrew Tate one. I honestly think this is one of the most important spaces since the Andrew Tate one. Quite frankly, it's the first, it's the first space where something that you've almost alluded to for the past three weeks even month has come to light has really come to light right this is the yep. first kind of hey look this kind of type of shit is really going on and diddy is i think is just a a drop in the bucket if you will right no this is more, not even this is not even close to the the, the nitty-gritty this is just the tipping this is not even the tip of the iceberg you understand what i'm saying this ain't even the iceberg bro this is just what what we already knew and now it's just validation of what we already knew for people that just deny the truth constantly. It's like I told everybody the truth. Then I provided so much evidence that, you know, you can't deny it. And then they say, oh, you crazy. And then I post me training that I'm not crazy. And then they say, oh, but you're on coke. And then I show them I'm not on coke. What more do you want? And then they unfollow me for making a post about BBL. What the heck is going on? Bro, what is going on? All I got to say is Bro, the House of Cards. What is going on? The House of Cards is tumbling down. Either yes. get out of the way or be involved in it. That's what yep. I got to say. If you don't speak up, you're you're low key behind it. They're trying to silence you, Ryan. Bro, they look Don't you see the um Bro, they shadow banned me, bro. On TikTok, how on TikTok I got less followers on Instagram and less engagement. Yet on TikTok I get 30,000 viewers constantly. But when I get on Instagram, I'm at three to two K. Somewhere, where the fuck does that make sense? You know, Mark Mark Zuckerberg is tripping that reptilian. Yeah, I mean, I exactly. Know, I actually don't know if he's a reptilian, but he do look like one. I don't mean to get political in here, Ryan, but Instagram, Facebook, right? Those are left wing apps, right? right. No one uses that bullshit. Those bullshit apps. They censor you, and a lot of left wingers, right? They're into that pedophilic shit. They got kids. They they support. 
kids going to these these alphabet letter parades, right? Having uh, having half naked men and women dance in front of little like children. that's okay, bro. At, at the end exactly. of the day, do whatever you want. Leave the children alone. Do whatever the fuck you want in your life. You want to be you you believe that you know you you know you were born as a man, but now you want to be a woman. Do whatever you want. I'm not what whatever. I mean, you got to do whatever you want, but leave the children alone, please. Children are innocent. They don't got nothing to do whatever how you feel. However you feel as a grown adult is how you feel. But leave the children alone. Because if you don't leave the children alone, then you got a problem with me. And guess what? They find out real quick that people ain't standing with that. What happened to Target? Plummeted. What happened to Apple? Plummeted. Every time they try to mess with the kids, plummet, 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 plummet. Bud Light. Don't forget Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. You know, you want to mess with the kids? You, you wanna you you want you, you know you want you want to infect their mind with, with the shit that you believe in. Guess what? It's all gonna come tumbling down on you. And if you don't support me, great. If you want, everybody's like Ryan. You can lose endorsements. I said I don't give a fuck. I'll just start my own fucking drink company. Think I give a fuck? I'll just fuck it. I'll just make my own company. Think I give a fuck? I, I'm already rich because I got Jesus. I'm already rich. And you got children. That makes yeah. you even richer. Bro, so we've it, seen it, this it, time and time again with with others. When when they the truth is exposed, look at Martin Lawrence. Um, who else was there? Kanye. When Kanye was talking about Jesus, the, right. the same narrative is the same. They all they do the same thing, nothing changes. Okay, they're talking about Jesus. Let's make them like they're crazy. Let's make them seem like this. But the thing mm -hmm. is just got to keep standing for it because sometimes people will turn away because the heat gets too hot and then they get burned. But if you continue to stand firm on the, on your foundation, my boy, then, then God, you know what I feel like, you know what I feel like? I feel like, although I'm burnt, it's like the flames are blue. Garcia stands firm on personal grounds, declaring his commitment to celibacy. This choice not only sets him apart from the controversy, he unveils, but also garners him widespread support from fans who admire his discipline and integrity. As Garcia's words ripple through the public consciousness, a wave of support emerges. Fans and community members rally behind him, lauding his courage to speak up and represent values that transcend the sport. His actions and words resonate, echoing a call for awareness and action. At the heart of today's narrative, is Ryan Garcia's daring move to expose the alarming situation surrounding Diddy. This isn't just commentary. It's a bold confrontation with issues many prefer to leave in the dark. Garcia challenges the silence, spotlighting a crisis that extends far beyond celebrity and into the core of societal ills. Ryan Garcia's journey reminds us that sometimes the most critical fights happen outside the ring. His courage to expose the Diddy situation and advocate for change amidst personal sacrifice is a powerful testament to his character. As we continue to watch this story unfold, let's not forget the impact of standing up for truth in the face of daunting opposition. Thank you for joining us in shedding light on Ryan Garcia's courageous stand against the shadows. For more updates on this developing story and other battles being fought both in and out of the ring, make sure to subscribe. Together, we stand with those who dare to speak out, fight back, and seek the truth in a world where it's often hidden.